Hi guys, this is the channel Learn with Shebi and I am Shebi telling you how we can install Windows 11 on an old PC. I tried it on my own PC. Basically my PC uh, was doesn't have a hardware which supports Windows 11. So there is a two ways, there are two ways to check uh, if your PC supports Windows 11 or not. Just go to settings and then go to update and security and then you will find an option on left bottom windows insider program if your laptop or pc support windows 11 uh, on your windows 11 installation you will find an update button over there and if your hardware is not compatible with windows 11 you will find that kind of message which i had so this was a shocking news for me that I cannot install Windows 11 on my laptop though I was very fond of uh, installing the Windows 11 I wanted to see the new window but Windows Insider program says no Windows 11 on this old PC rather I have to buy a new one or I have to get rid on uh, this error basically I checked uh, with another software which is called PC Healthcare but again that software showed me that I cannot install Windows 11 on this PC. Now basically, Windows 11 needs two uh, features that is TMP 2.0 and Secure Boot. My laptop was uh, enabled with Secure Boot, but uh, it doesn't have TMP 2.0. You can enable it virtually if your BIOS supports that. But I wanted to find a easy, an easy method which can bypass all these things. So I found a method. Just go to website, uh, write down on Google. You want to download Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. So go to that site, and you will just scroll down. And you will find a button Download Tool now. And you have to download this tool and install this tool, and you have to have a USB with the minimum capacity of uh, 8 GB so just format that USB install and plug that USB into your PC download this tool and then install it on your machine so uh, it's, it's a free tool available on Microsoft site you just need to download it and just need to install it on your Windows 10 PC or uh, on your old PC so after the installation this software will ask you two options let's uh, let's say uh, let's this software install on this PC then I'll show you those two options this software will ask you whether you want to upgrade your PC to window uh, Windows 10 basically uh, we are creating a bootable disk for Windows 10 installation and you wa you want to upgrade or you want to uh, create a bootable disk for fresh installation I choose the second option then I press the next button recommended settings if I want to keep the recommended settings, no need to change anything so uh, I just press the next button and then again I will have two options rather when this tool should download Windows 10 for me to make a bootable disk or I have an ISO file just wanted to show you that if you choose the second option ISO file it will it will open a dialog box to find an ISO file Windows 10 ISO file or image file from your PC I didn't have that image file so uh, I just showed you that if you select this and press next button you have to give a Windows image file I didn't have that I chose USB flash drive option and then I press next button it will start downloading Windows 10 and will take uh, almost 5 to 10 minutes depending upon your PC speed and it will create a bootable disk for you so I cut this uh, recording over here after creation creating that bootable disk I just open that disk that USB and then I went to sources folder and there is an a file install.esd file so I have to find that file install.esd and then I'll delete this file basically what I'm going to do I'll use Windows 10 setup to install Windows 11 
So I'll delete this install.esd file. This is for Windows 10. So my USB has the bootable medium, but it does not have Windows 10 now. So I'll download Windows 11 ISO, which is easily available on uh, internet. Just go to Google, write down Windows 11 uh, leak version and you will find uh, ISO just mount that ISO go to sources folder again and now you have to find a file which is named by install.wim install.wim file that is windows 11 ISO file basically so I have I'll copy that install.wim file from this ISO this windows 11 ISO so I'll shift that file to Windows 10 bootable disk. So what I did, I just deleted Windows 10 install.esd file from my USB and just copied install.vim file from Windows 11 image file and pasted that install.vim file into the same folder sources on my USB and just is, is pasted in my USB and now USB is ready to install Windows 11 on your PC. So in this way we can bypass all the checks which Windows 11 setup did when you want to try you want to install Windows 11. So this way your PC uh, the, the setup will show show you show the PC that you are installing Windows 10 but it's not Windows 10 basically it is Windows 11. You can see in this picture there are a different version available just simply install like windows 10 and you will find windows 11 over there i can show you there this is my the new picture of my pc you can see i open win version software and that shows that windows 11 is installed over there but if i check with the same software pc health check it will again show me show me that i cannot install windows 11 on my pc though it is already installed so i just buy, bypass everything I showed my PC that I am installing Windows 10 but it was actually Windows 11. So in this way you can easily install Windows 11. Keep watching my videos, be with me to learn different things. Thank you very much.